chocolate. Is it gonna land? Is it gonna land? Happy New Year to you! Welcome to the 2v2 quick match with the new BFME online battle arena. And that's gonna be my first 2v2 game in the arena. By the way, if you don't know, the, we have a tournament going on, event going on, and you can participate as well. All you need to do is download the patch 2.2 to the launcher in the description down below. And then you can just like that easily join the online scene of BFME 1. And if you can make it to the rank, rank 1 spot in any ladder, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, you will get $70. But if you can't, it's also no problem. You just need to be the most active player during the month of January, and then you will get 20 bucks, okay? All right, the matchup is Gondor Aizen against Double Gondor. Should be good for us. Not, uh, not a bad matchup at all. And I don't like this map, to be honest with you. <laughs> I just don't like this map. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm gonna actually grab the settlement and try to creep with the Hobbit, okay? That's my plan. Throw some rocks at them, you know. Boom chakalaka, boom chakalaka. And also the host is not the greatest. My micro is not very good. But we need to make an agreement, you and I, okay? And the agreement is I will make horses in this game. I will recruit three knights of Gondor and I will try my best to keep them alive, okay? That's what makes that's what makes BFME one so special, the bond between the player and their units. You have my sword. Thank you so much for the follow, appreciate it. My Twitch channel really means a lot. Alright, so I'm gonna give it to my soldier and hobbit. Let's capture this one. So we get more food bonus, we get more resources. Overall, we are in a good spot. And let's try to contest the creeping, shall we? Okay, the next structure is going to be the famous steeple. I mean, to be honest, I think the map is not too big. We could also just go for the for the outpost control and make Faramir Boromir. But remember, our ally is Aizen, so he will most likely make combos, and we don't need to make combos. We need something that is mobile that can contest the map control fights. Ah, close one. I almost took it. Okay. Alright, so let's creep this one. He's chasing my ally. That's good for me. And we will be picking the heal ability from the spare book. Remember the goblin layers are not easy to be crept anymore in the patch 2.22 because as you can see, the goblin layer has now additional goblin archers and goblin warriors, which kind of makes it difficult to creep that easily. It was the easiest creep by far in the game. Um, but we need to still adjust something, you know? I mean, it's all about experimenting stuff. Enough of this. Let's focus on the lair. I mean, I would love to get the last hit if I can. Give it to me. Give me the last hit. Go, Knights of Gondor. We took the last hit. It's huge. Okay, our hobby is level 4. And let's also try to not make the mistake of losing Peregrine took the full of a took, you know? Because I know Gandalf doesn't like this guy, but I actually like him, you know? He was like... <laughs> Don't keep my level 3. Ah, oh, okay, I couldn't save him. I like I like Pippin, you know? My Pippin is all about to hit level 5. That's gonna unlock the special technique of heavy, uh, of the Peregrine took. Boom! And it is Peregrine of the Tower Guard. Which increases his damage, but let's be honest, Pippin or any Hobbit really is not like a really lead game threat in any situation. Even if he would have an ability which gives him like 250% more damage, it wouldn't change anything. He's like one-shotable. Like every hero pretty much can one-shot them. And for that reason, it's not really a big threat, you know? But we can block the Hobbit. And we can block the Hob <laughs> outpost with the Hobbit. And that's very important too. Like utilizing the most of a unit, that's very important. Gollum also can do this, you know? Like you can send Gollum behind the enemy castle. He costs only 150, but he can be like a living scout for you. And if a hero is cheap, that doesn't mean, by all means, that he is useless, okay? Every, every hero, every unit has some sort of usage. You just need to utilize the maximum potential 
of every single character you are controlling. I'm gonna need a war chant here. Please war chant me. Do it. Okay, we win this fight hard. Even if you heal, that doesn't do anything. It's 50% more damage and 50% more armor. That's why the combination of good and evil is so good in this game. Look, I'm gonna show you how to keep a troll there with Gondor. Gondor is the easiest one because your Zita is, the, is able to shoot. And we can stay here and the troll can't go away. And the second we creep the lair, we can send this battalion of knights to the base. And I make a circle like this, I'm gonna show you. Boom, 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 boom. And then the Zita will shoot and that's three power points too, right? We need power points, power points are, uh, you know, eventually the key to victory. Okay, nice. Now it's all about map controlling boys. Okay? And we need to get upgrades. Remember, BFME 1 is a game that there is quality beats quantity situation. Forge bleeds heavy armor. Make one of your Gondor Knights as strong as three, four of the enemy Gondor Knights. Because the damage output you get from the Forge Blades, the tankiness you receive from the heavy armor is crucial. It makes your units pretty much to heroes, okay? Again, quality beats quantity. And like in BFME 2, in BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King, you don't really have a really a bond to your units. It's like more you spam, out spam your opponent. If you lose a unit, it's whatever, you know. And the punishment in BFME 1 is just much greater. Which kind of, you know, you need to play it good, you know, at every stage of the game. Because one mistake, even if it's a small one, can snowball into a massive disaster. So you need to know what you're doing and pay attention to small things, micro and macro is extremely important in this game we can fight this he has no blades yet i mean he does have blades on one battalion but it's okay the most important thing is to just save okay now we can fight this endlessly no problem maybe we can even try to kill this boromir which is kind of difficult because boromir is able to knock us down on the ground I want to get for I, I want to go for the shields, you know, for the night shields, and then I want to save up for Ganav. We have the power points for Ganav. That's good. We can fight this still. I mean, here's Boromir leadership, but I have Warchant. Warchant beats Boromir leadership. Boromir gives you only damage, but in those one v one or one v two situations, the armor is more rewarding compared to the damage. So that's why, for example, Eye of Sauron is also not as strong as Warchant ever gonna be. Warchant is the best ability to buff your units with. Okay, even better than Darkness. You know. It's just the best. That's why. And also, Warchan is the main reason, if not the only reason, why Isengard has no two starting units start. If, like, unlike all the other factions. Remember Gondor starting with two soldiers, Rohan with two peasants, Mordor with two orcs. But it's Isengard exclusively who starts with one swordman. And these are the Urukai. Not only are the Urukai stronger than any other swordman in the game, but also with the Warchan, they can win any 1v2 situation as well. So two orcs with I can't beat one Uruk with Warchant. Two soldiers with heal can't beat one Uruk with the Warchant. Two peasants with Hobbit can't beat one Uruk with the Warchant. Because this is no rubble of mindless orcs, my friends. And how was your Christmas? Not Christmas, New Year's Eve, guys. What did you do? What did you do? Okay, we are looking very, very strong here. We can fight a little bit, you know. My main, main, main reason here why I'm fighting this is because I want to, I want to prevent him to, from rushing my ally, you know. Keeping him busy. And so my ally can get every time he needs. That's your goal, really, in those good evil versus double good situations. Evil is going to be eventually the true carry. And you, as the good faction player, in this situation... You are here to support your ally, to siege for him eventually, to give him leadership, or to buy him time, okay? 
For that reason, after we recruit Gandalf, we will also eventually capture the outpost in the middle and make heroes like Boromir Faramir. I want to get here to this spot, but I can't be surrounded. Like in the films 300, okay? Every film you see, <laughs> every move you take, you need to learn something out of that, my friends. I mean, maybe not, because I blocked like two of my units, they can't even attack, man, that's so bad. <laughs> okay, abort the mission. Don't take a note. Okay, we can't win this, man. It's a 1v2 situation. Just don't lose the battalion. I want to kill one more unit, if I can. Okay, he's disengaging for whatever reason. That's good. We can... Oh, okay. And also, very important, guys. Demolish your structures in time, okay? I mean, one farm is not giving you a whole lot of, a, of, a, of command po power points. But it's about, the, about uh, the amount of farms you lose throughout the entire game. And if you don't demolish every single one of them, your opponent will get like two, three extra power points, which can be definitely team deciding. So demolish your structures in time to prevent him. Are you ready for Gandalf party, boys? My Gandalf is crazy. I'm, I've cracked Gandalf. Trust me, no one. My lightning swords are on point. My blasts are hurting. I can't believe that it's 2024 already, you know? Because it felt for me like 2023 passed so fast. And, you know, with two kids, <laughs> the time is flying by and I can't really do much about it. But in any case, I wish you all the, you know, only the best for the new year. Hopefully all your dreams might come true. And hopefully also I will see you on the battlefield in the new BFME arena. Because that's a special year too for BFME 1. Remember BFME was released back in 2010. So uh, back in 2004, I mean. So that's like 20 years ago, you know. Like 2024 is the 20 years anniversary of, of BFME 1. And with the new automated matchmaking, that's the only possible way to have this since the servers were shut down back in 2010. So hopefully you guys will, you know, give it a shot because you are the reason why people need this, you know. Hold on a second, boys. Ooh, Chakalak is incoming. Watch this. I'm coming for you. Boom, chakalaka. Oh, my hobbit got level E2. Okay, I will save my hobbit here. Okay, watch this, watch this. Follow me, I will turn and lightning sword this. Watch this, boys. Lightning sword. I'm a servant of the secret fire. The wield of the flame of Anor. Put hobbit on top of the shadow fax. Heal. Oh. <laughs> this is so funny. I, lo I love Gandalf. You got to love Gandalf, okay? Gandalf is the best hero in the game and we even put pepin on him and my pepin is almost level 10 too and you know what's kind of impressive we haven't lost our hobbit since the beginning of the game oh <laughs> i mean he just came in almost level 7 just like that what are the chances we're gonna get him level 10 in this situation take this <laughs> the, le the less favorite son of Denitor. I mean, I'm so rusty, dude. I can feel it, though. You know, I can feel it. The problem here, what I have, guys, and the reason I'm not streaming too much on Twitch nor making YouTube videos is because of my uh, living situation. We have a three room apartment, and my PC is in the basement. So I need to go downstairs to my PC. And during the winter time, the basement here is so incredibly dark. And even more so cold and now you can tell me buy a heater i have a heater but not only the heater is extremely expensive because it's electrical heater and when you sit here it's like a big room too it needs ages to warm up the room but if you don't use it you can wear a jacket and stuff like i'm doing it's also fine but your hands are cold 
And when you are a gamer, you know, when your hands are very cold and you basically don't feel the mouse in your hands like you used to. Oh my god, hold on a second. We need to demolish this. These structures are very important to be demolished, okay? Stitch you well. Yeah, that's the problem what I have. You know, I wish I could stream more often. And all of that stuff. Hold on, boys. Are you ready? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Is it gonna hit land? Is it gonna land? Yes. Yes. Dude, look this. Look this. I hit every single one of them. I hit every single one of them. Two battalions of Knights of Gondor are goners. And our power points are raising, rising to the sky. Oh, Faramir, you are dead. Deja vu. Say, Denitor, good luck with Poromia. Oh my goodness, man. Uh, we are playing out of our mind right now, okay? Oh, dodge. I have no heal. We need to use the bubble. Bubble. Oh. Okay, it's splitting the damage at least between the Knights of Condor and Gandalf. And our Gandalf survived. I don't know how. Don't, tell, don't ask me why and how. Because I don't know. But I'm not cheating. <laughs> I'm not cheating, okay? Whew. That was a close one. Let's go for the marketplace too. In the castle. Just find out. Extra cash will not hurt anybody, okay? And we will siege. Where was Gondor when Rohan fell? Or where was Rohan when Gondor will fail? Let's go there, my friend. We don't need to wait for Fort Trebuchet. Tempo is the key to victory. Just be fast with what you're doing, okay? And adapt your gameplay. Like, people are, you know, when I get to, when I, can I, can, I can't even talk. When I get asked the question, what am I supposed to do? It depends, dude. It depends. There is not one thing you can do or you should be doing to win more games and you lose games. It's all about adapting to your opponent's playstyle. But if there is one tip, one piece of advice I can give you guys is tempo, speed. Think fast, act fast, do it fast, okay? Doing it fast but wrong is better than, you know, doing it slow but right in most situations. Boom, chakalaka. Oh, oh they, they're covering each other. They, they, they just used two lanes. They covered each other's land. The miscommunication there. <laughs> this is mine one. You know, I, I, can, I can tell that they covered each other because they are two good factions and they have not seen a tainted land. So now it's even a better situation for us. Maybe the enemy didn't notice that they are now on my land, you know? Boom, two wizards of Middle-earth who now has the, <laughs> has the courage to stand against the forces of Isengard and Gondor and against the union of the two wizards, ladies and gentlemen. And the answer to this is nobody. Demolish structures in time, the well, insta demolish. My Gandalf is getting chunked. And but they have heal. Oh, he's rushing my ally. I need to defend my ally, boys. I gotta defend my ally. Let's get this Firestone first. I mean, I'm losing my trebuchet, but it's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay, we need to help our ally. I think the enemy didn't have power points. You see, that's what I'm talking about. He just got his gun off to Y2. We are demolishing structures in time. We are not losing our units. We, we played safe. We played smart. We played not safe. We played smart. Safe is boring. But we played smart. No, we don't want to run it down. I have no Easter light. You are lucky. I'm gonna blast you now. Do it, do it, do it. No, he didn't do it. Okay. We are use heal boys. Okay. Now we can turn and use lightning sword. Lightning sword this. Block the Gandalf. You know that the enemy knights can't hit me. And oh my goodness, we killed almost everything again. If I can catch this with my history, he would be dead too, but I think we can't catch him. We cannot, we cannot catch him. Let's get this one too. Cash looting is bad. I was cash looting, I know. But I, I'm not saying I played perfect. I have like lots of things to improve as well. 
I think there is always room for improvement. I mean, would you look at that, you know? Boromir uh, got level 4 from killing or assisting to kill his brother from the enemy faction. That looks like a GG to me, boys. We're gonna go for a juicy one again. Watch this. Kaboom chakalaka. Kaboom chakalaka. Lak, lak, lak. He study him, boy. He study him, boy. Take this poor me. Boromir is a tanky boy. He won't die to Easter that fast. But Ballista kills him. <laughs> Ballista kills him. And there is a Gan of the Grey. You. Ganda. You have no power here, Gan of the Grey. GG, my friend. GG. Iron Hills. GG. What are we bad against? Iron Hills and Broken Mouse. Oh. I hope he won't Easter me. I'm very low on health. I'm gonna go for the structures, for the remaining structures. He used heal. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful here. Yeah? Our Ganaf is very chunked. I'm gonna use one arrow and blast them. Oh, <laughs> kill them with the blast. Level nine. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, GG. Well played. Two v one now. Will he keep playing? No, he won't. Broken Mouse has also been defeated. GG. Well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I would love to see you on the battlefield too, in the battle arena. Click on the patch 2.2. Launcher in the description down below. Download the launcher and you can play with the launcher in the battle arena online. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a track and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.